Hi, I'm Mayor Vivian McKenzie, and we're here today in the Chamber of City Hall. This is where all of the business is conducted in the city of Peekskill. The Deputy Mayor and I have decided that we want to bring you a video cast showing you all the information that we're doing here in the city of Peekskill. A lot of times folks don't get to see our meetings or don't get all the correct information, so we decided to come up with a way to bring it all to you. That's right, with busy schedules, things get lost in the shuffle of our daily lives. So every couple of weeks, we're gonna be bringing you some information about what's happening in Peekskill. Today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of Pugsley Park, Fleischman Pier, and Depew Park, so you could see what the DRI dollars did in our community. Follow us there. We're here in the sunny Pugsley Park here today. Wanted to give you a little overview of this DRI project. It is one of the projects that has been completed. We want to talk a bit about the art that's here and kind of how we got here. So as you know, the DRI project was a community project. So we had committees from every walk of life within the city of Peekskill. So that committee got together, worked with our planning department and with our landscape architect to come up with a design for this park. We had 500, a little more than $500,000 to do this park and Monument Park. However, we were lucky enough and have great teams that work to get us grants so that we were able to put more money into this park and our next uh, park, Monument Park. So, Deputy Mayor, you want to talk a little bit about some of the amenities we have here in the park? Yes, I'd like to start with the artwork. Um, through the Peekskill Arts Alliance, the PAA, they chose local artists to come and, and show their wares, do their artwork. And through that process, they displayed and picked several of our local artists, which the artwork is now displayed in beautiful Pugsley Park. Uh, right behind us, it really brightens the area, and that's one of the great amenities that we have here. It's a community park with a community artwork. Also, if you look around our park, the design of the park itself, Mayor, is just absolutely beautiful. The lines of the park, the, the walkways, all the things that were put in. We even have a stage area where people can perform and really have community events. We've been having several community events in this um, beautiful park. Started off with our Pride event, and we have several other events that will be coming throughout the year, throughout the season. I will say, as you look around the park, it's a lot of open space. It is our park. It's a city of Peekskill Park. It's here for everyone to enjoy. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but we have our parks department here maintaining this park. We hope everyone comes out, utilizes it, and really gets to see the charm right in our downtown city of Peekskill. So Deputy Mayor, I want to talk a little about um, upkeep and maintenance of the park and some of the new technology that we have. Yes. I think it's really important that people know that, yes, we have great parks and, and this is wonderful, but it's up to all of us to maintain our parks. Even though we have DPW, they're not here every day, and we need to make sure as good citizens that we take care of the projects and the parks and our city all along the downtown, in front of your homes, everywhere. So Deputy Mayor, you want to talk a little bit about our big bellies here? I, I really do. These are really interesting big belly trash cans. And this one here, to put the trash in, has a solar panel on top that actually helps compress the trash inside. So you have more room as people are throwing trash, which is really a great thing. So these are something we're testing, we're trying out to see if they work well. If they do, hopefully we can get them in other areas of the city of Peekskill. So remember, when you bring trash into the park, please make sure you put it into the right receptacles or take it out with you. Let's keep our park beautiful. So now that we have this beautiful park, what are we going to do with it? What kind of events are we going to have? The park is available to be rented, so if you're interested in renting the park for an event, please contact our city clerk's office and they can give you all of that information. In addition, the city is working on programming to have here, community program, similar to what we do at the riverfront. So there's a lot of things to do here. It is beautiful, it is well lit now, um, and we want to make sure that the whole community gets to use this park. As a matter of fact, our beautiful artwork here is called A Day in the Park. So please come down and experience a great day in our Pugsley Park while enjoying this beautiful artwork. So our next stop on today's tour is here at Charles Point Park where we have Fleischman Pier behind us. This again was a DRI project. We are so proud and excited to know that this is going to be opening soon. The community was very involved in designing this and making sure that it was the park that the community wanted. We have a little bit of housekeeping to do but this pier should be opening very very soon. So the big word here is tourism. 
will expand our tourism exponentially because we have a beautiful pier now that can bring in kayaks, people visiting on day trips, smaller vessels, and eventually larger vessels will be coming to this pier. So we'll be seeing lots of different people coming into our beautiful city and enjoying it along with our residents. This is a free park. It's a free pier. So our residents could come down here, enjoy it every day if they would like. Um, another thing that I want to point out, it's ADA accessible. That is a huge deal. So people of all needs can come here and enjoy a day out in our beautiful, beautiful park. So the deputy mayor and I are here sitting on a bench overlooking Charles Point Park. And I have to tell you, knowing that Peekskill is one of the only communities that has an unobstructed view of the river, you can really see today. I'm looking over there and I can see Bear Mountain Bridge. I see the big homes up on the hill. We can see the marina and we have a clear view all the way across the Hudson over into Rockland County. I have to say this is probably one of the most beautiful areas along the Hudson. Deputy Mayor, would you want to talk about some of the amenities that are coming to our beautiful new pier and park? Sure, Mayor. I'll talk about a couple of the amenities. We have one amenity that's coming to the pier will be uh, brand new benches. So people could come and they could sit on the pier and enjoy a day out. And they could sit and they could fish there once the pier opens. And that's a really great amenity. Another amenity, we're getting shade structures down here so people can sit and enjoy the park and sit in the shade and have a little lunch. And this also connects to the walkway so people from the walkway from the river walkway can come down here and just walk and sit and they'll have beautiful shade so they're not surrounded by um, all the sun also we're getting bathrooms and that's a great amenity so when people are traveling here they'll have bathrooms to use and uh, it'll be right here in, in Charles Point Park for them to use but I just want to say something else mayor I just want to say that the beauty of our park here is is like no other and Peekskill should be very proud that we have this park and that all the work that's done here to make it a beautiful place for our residents to visit it and people coming from other towns. Just want to say this is again a DRI project and this is a project that you, the community, made. So come out, enjoy it, visit it, and just want to remind you, if you carry it in, please make sure you carry it out in an effort to keep our parks clean. Thank you. So we're here at our last stop of our tour today at Depew Park, an amazing park that is for our community. Behind us is our new field. Um, we received a million dollar grant from Assemblywoman Sandy Galef. And while a million dollars sounds like a lot of money, we had to make some really hard decisions on how to use that in this park. And so what we did was we put in a multi-purpose field, we put in the volleyball courts that are waiting for nets, and we also did irrigation to this field so that it can be maintained. Um, the deputy mayor will talk a little bit about the paving that's going around, but I also want to point out to you about the fencing. So you see the black fencing with the orange, the orange is the temporary, we're waiting for the chain link to come in. People have talked about that we're closing this park off and it shouldn't be fenced. Unfortunately, we have ATVs within the city, uh, bicycles, and we want to make sure that we are preserving this park. We've spent a lot of money on it and we want to make sure that it stays in its same condition for everybody to utilize. So you'll be able to walk through these gates at any time to get onto this multi-purpose field. You just won't be able to bring automobiles, ATVs, bicycles on this court. It's for sports, it's for your family to play if you want to fly a kite, but it is not for ATVs. And that is why we took the expense to put this fence up. Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Mayor, for explaining that to the public. I think that's very important. Yes, and we also have a beautiful new track here, a paved track, so you can walk around. And if some of you remember the old dirt track here, when you would walk, there would be dust all over the place. Well, now you can walk the Depew Park track once again, and you'll have a paved surface to walk on, and you won't get all that dust. So this track is another highlight to all the revitalization we're doing in the city of Peekskill. This beautiful Depew Park, where our residents can come and spend a day with their families. Just like the old days, we are revitalizing it, it's looking great, and we hope people come and use our parks. So as we talk about grants, I want to stress the importance of what grants can do for the city. So when you get a grant, it allows us to do projects like this in the city without putting additional burdens on our taxpayers. So if we get grants, we can do more projects. If you look and see how green and beautiful that this field is, it's because we did it properly. And so now it's irrigated, so it will be maintained. As we continue to work on our parks, we're looking for more grants so that we can take care of our bandstand, that we can 
put some money into our pools that we can make the park more accessible for everybody to use whether you're walking in a wheelchair have have a walker whatever it is we want to make sure that our playgrounds and our parks are accessible to all of our residents and visitors so stay tuned because we will be doing more in the pew park and our parks throughout the city so deputy mayor how do you play pickleball well mayor it's kind of like a racquetball but i'm not sure exactly we'll have to find out all right, so we know that all of you like to play pickleball, so we're here in Depew Park at our new pickleball courts. They are completed, there's no nets up as of yet, but the pickleball courts are here and are gonna be open soon. And we're gonna find out more about pickleball, how you play it, but we want you to know that we heard your concerns and that the pickleball courts are here. So while we took time today to show you some of the projects that are coming to completion and all the great things, we wanna make sure that we let you know that we realize that there are projects that still need to be done. And one of the ones is here at our bandstand. This is the bandstand in Depew Park. And as you can see behind us, it definitely needs some tender love and care, which we as a council and a city really want to make happen. And we're looking for opportunities to do that. Um, we want to talk a little bit about what this meant to us and what the vision is to see what this is going to be in the future. So Deputy Mayor, tell us what you remember about the bandstand. This bandstand strikes some great memories for me. I mean, I even played in here when I was in the Peekskill High School marching band. We performed here. There was concerts here in the park where bands would come and perform and we do the old fashioned band concerts and all different types of music. So I'm hoping one day, Mayor, that we can restore this to its grandeur and have concerts in the park again. I think it will be, be another great amenity for the city of Peekskill residents in our beautiful Depew Park. So as we move forward in the city, just know that this is on our radar and this is something that we're looking into and we hope to bring you a new bandstand in the coming future. Mayor, can you explain to the public what some of our residents are saying that projects take a long time? Can you explain to our public why it takes a while for projects to come to fruition? Yeah, there are multiple steps for a project to get completed. So, you know, initially we talk about a plan and things that we want to see. And then, you know, if it's in our home, we think, okay, I can go get a developer or a contractor, whatever it is, and get it done. When you're working with municipality, you have a lot of process to go through. In particular, the projects that we showed you today were DRI funded. So everyone knows that we won the grant, we had the big show, we had the big check, and then COVID set in. So that was a setback. But the process is you have to go through planning, you have to go through the architecture part of it, you have to go through the state and get approvals that have to come back. Sometimes it's multi-levels that you go through to do that. Um, you then go back to design. It's a lot of community involvement. So we did kind of, um, not so much a charrette, but having people involved and coming in and talking about what they wanted to see. And then you actually have your plans that are put into place. Then the project has to go out to bid. You have to do that over a period of time. The bid comes back. Then the bids have to be accepted and the process goes on and on. So there are multiple, multiple steps, um, but the work gets done. So I hope you enjoyed our tour today. If there's a topic that you would like covered, please email me at vmckenzie at cityofpeakscale.com and we will make sure to get out on our agenda. We thank you so much for watching us and we'll see you next time.